Hey everybody, I'm Mega Mario Gamer, and welcome back to. I think this is like episode eight of Lisa. I record these in batches, so I'm not really sure which episode this is. Last time, we fought a group of guys. They showed up out of nowhere, kicked our asses because I think they were so much stronger than us. Yeah, we we lost just pretty much without putting up a fight. We didn't even take down one of them. And this time, I'm considering jumping off this cliff, because I don't see any other way to go. I want to make a side note and say that I'm not going to look up the answer to anything, unless I've been stuck on it for a really long time. So if we go halfway through, like, this episode, because we already spent half a last episode looking. If we go halfway through this episode and I still don't find anything, I might just have to look it up. So far, it's looking like that because I still don't see anything. This village was massacred, by the way. I've already been over here. A cliff instantly kills me. I tested that out in like the second episode. Second or first. So I really don't want to jump off one. I have only three mags, so I can't play that game. Maybe there's somewhere to go from here. No, it's not going to work. We're fine. I don't want to risk someone getting kidnapped again. Oh, wait, can I go? Oh! Oh, I can go through the hole in the wall! I, n I thought this was just desecra- I'm sorry. I thought it was just decoration. I didn't think that I could actually go through it. Man, I thought I was never gonna get in here. I thought I really thought I needed to crash through one of the windows down there with the bike. <laughs> Although now that I'm here, I kind of don't want to be here. It doesn't look like my daughter's here. Okay, so all these people are on joy. <laughs> well, he can only be bribed with magic pancakes. Got it. Who are you? Girls upstairs. You can get a drink or two here. She's upstairs, huh? Okay, no, no well, now I wish I hadn't gone to the fucking... The small village, because we just got fucking robbed. This place is paradise. Remember, too much of a good thing, wonderful. You got it. Where's the girl? How do I get... There you go. Is one of them the girl? Is that guy the girl? <laughs> we here at the Magnificent Man's Club are all about the people. We do our best to take your time with this terrible earth as enjoyable as possible. What? <laughs> really? They're gonna fight me because I don't have hair. Actually, wait, if they got a bunch of hair, doesn't that mean I can... I can light them on fire, right? Hold on. I didn't get to use all these firebombs in that fight with the other guys, so I'm gonna use it here.
Oh my god. No. I will throw all these firebombs at them. I want- I will win this fucking fight. I lost the last fight, I'm not losing this one. <laughs> we'll get these items back, I'll find a way. Brad, since you're the only one who can actually shoot fire without throwing a bottle, you... You do that. Firebomb, firebomb, and paralyzing whip again. Oh yeah, we got him on the ropes. <laughs> They're still pretty. No, I actually no. Why did no one downstairs notice that we were bald? Fireball two. That is not a girl. That's definitely not a girl. Marty Hernandez joined my party. He... They were raping the truck driver. <laughs> I don't know how they didn't notice that, but whatever. I think that means my daughter's still in the back of the truck. They didn't give me much money. Can I unlock the door? Can I... I want to start a street brawl. Hold on. Uh, I want. I wanted the people outside to rush in and fight. Can I tell them that the girl was just a guy? No. Nope. I heal. I wonder if Hernandez is any good at fighting. Ah. Uh... Okay, just gonna pretend that never happened. Get him the fuck out of here before more of him show up. Be honest, when this episode started, I thought we were gonna spend the entire thing searching for where to go. I still wonder what the point of that little village was if it wasn't for story. I guess it doesn't matter anymore. We got Farty. I hope we don't need to switch him out. We're healed. Is he still in our party? <laughs> Technically, yeah. He's level 10, which is actually... Better than Olan. He's got Truck Slam. And Weep. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, can I tissue? Can I use that on Farty? No. 
that's not working. Oh, whatever. I keep my party the way it is for now. Oh, shit. Okay, going back to the tent. Okay, just out of curiosity. Where in area one is that going to leave me? Hey, I'm alright with that. <laughs> oh no, wait, what's his name? Crush my home. How is he still fighting me? Oh, we got him. He's not much of a threat. Especially not after that fight with those guys. You know the ones I'm talking about. I didn't even see him when he tackled us. I just wanted to check out this hole. Um. All right. I'm sticking with my theory. That's definitely Brad's daughter. Wait, what? Uh, what happens if I tell him? Oh, I knew it. I knew he was gonna fight me. What must this fireball do, do? I mean, two do. Tell this guy's ghost story, Nern. I still don't know what TP stands for. Someone's still getting beat up off screen, though. I can't reach them. Oh, wait, a save point. And two guys guarding the gate. I'm gonna save this save point for a second. How are we doing? I'm gonna feed him some jerky. Do I have any? No, I got none left. Given that squirrel jerky to the beast born, that used to be his master, so. Will we need this? Are these guys gonna be tough? I'm getting paranoid now. I'm doing it. I haven't saved since. I haven't saved since. Uh, oh, yeah, they're, they're definitely gonna be tough. Haven't saved since I. um... So I rescued the truck driver who got violated, so... No, oh, that's interesting. Going all out on these guys.
Uh, no, not on Sun Style. We're gonna do this. Oh shit, he can't use Paralyzing Whip anymore. Hold on, Nern. Tell this other guy a ghost story. Can't use Critter Bites either. Yeah, these guys are definitely tough. And they're not scared of ghosts. Okay. They're just gonna have to get around to killing this guy fast as fuck. Not topics. Oh, Nern's almost done. And this guy's still not down, damn. Can I kick him in the balls? Um, wait, I can tackle people? Yeah, tackle him. You can't use skills anymore. Do we have items? Throw a bottle of dirty water at him. Topics. What do your topics do? Increase the HP of one ally. Yeah, you do that for yourself. And... You use Paralyzing Whip. Um, yeah, the, the poison's working good, so I'm definitely going with more, more dirty water. We got one left. Do you have more powers? You can't use that. I don't understand how they charge up TP. Okay, Nern's done. Another fireball, skill, not skill. One fancy perfume left, Nern. You, just because I'm paranoid, use some joy on Brad. Yeah, no, I had a good reason to be para paranoid. These guys are tough as fuck. Even when they're poisoned. See, powers from the beam. Cause a stampede. Quick crack of the rip can paralyze enemies. I want to try stampede. Okay, just fingered Olan. That's never good. These guys are too tough. Are we even supposed to win this fight? Powers, finger beam. I'm gonna keep going at it. Yeah, see, ya? We're, we're winning this. They only got one guy left. There's no way he can win now. We got this in the bag. He's really trying to take someone with him. Head slide. Rapid arrow. Nothing and whip flurry. Plus an empty bottle. And I think 10 mags? Yeah. I hope they don't respawn.
Another dark cave. I, I don't know how to respond to this. This is... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Percy Moonson joined your party. Well, that was interesting. Hope there's a save point around. I kind of want to end the episode. <laughs> He's alive? I thought he was, I thought he was murdered. <laughs> and he's running from me. Oh no, that's a demon girl up there. <laughs> what the fuck was this? I pressed shift when that happened. I don't know, I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna kill him. There's a bat over there for a reason. Keep it up. What the? We're gonna kill him at this rate. I I don't even have control over it anymore. Or did I just pass out? Okay. Apparently these guys traded on me. They're not even they're not our friends. Just making sure we didn't miss anything back here. stopping things here I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go forward a little bit I'm recording that for like 50 seconds but if nothing happens I'll just mention it in the next video <laughs> what the fuck this is so sad it's a blind robber I can, I can barely even bring myself to fight him. 
Oh my god, what's his name? Joshy Bright. <laughs> Oh my god. Joshy Bright Eyes. I feel so bad fighting this guy, but... Oh my god. I bet you every attack he does misses. I don't even- I don't even have to fight him seriously, I- I doubt he'll ever hit us. That was... That was too fucking funny. The idea of him just coming out of the corner and swinging at everything except us. What the hell? What? We can't win this fight against them. We can't win this fight against this guy. We really can't. And I know this is probably going to cut our attack by half, but... Well, I don't want to get rid of Olan. I think he's pretty damn useful to the team. I don't think we can beat them because we couldn't even beat those guys who came out of the cave after us. I think we gotta cut off Brad's arm. Attack and defense. You've lost all abilities using your left arm. The crate the pain increases your need for joy. Damn, I got no left arm. My HP went down too? Uh, Brad is slowly becoming more useless, and I know that this, this is going to come up more than once. Alright, well, I'll include this in, in the next episode. Yeah.